Welcome to the War Sports Channel on YouTube, Hot Garbage Sports with me, Coach Ryan D. Don't underestimate the Habs, I keep getting told. Habs are a really good team, I keep getting told. Carey Price is fantastic, I keep getting told. Hear a lot of talk about the Habs, but we don't hear a lot of talk about the Jets because it's a tiny little market tucked away in central Canada. So for all our Jets fans, Habs fans, new to the channel, and people looking for a list, stick around with us till the end of the video because we're going to give you 12 reasons to watch the Jets. Habs, go at it, baby! Here's And if this is your first time in the channel, please smash the subscribe, smash a like. We're going all the way to 1,000 subs, and we cannot do it without all of you in Montreal, Quebec, coast to coast in Canada and the U.S., baby! Oh, and Jets fans, join the channel. Number 12. Battle of the underdogs, baby! Three versus four! Oilers can win the cup, Leafs can win the puck, money puck this, media coverage that, then out the door. Ruins everybody's playoff bracket, ruins everybody's bets, tear up the slips and move on because we got a battle of the underdogs. And the battle of the underdogs is going to be highlighted by the term. The playoffs is just a different beast of playing, baby. Veteran presence, hits, different rule set. Well, same rule set, enforced completely differently, different mentality to win. That's why the underdogs are here. Number 11. Strong veteran presence on both teams. Weber and Price, Wheeler and Shifley, Connor Hellebuck, Paul Stasny. Endless, endless veterans. How about Tyler Toffoli and Trevor Lewis, Stanley Cup winners from the Los Angeles Kings? Got everything you need. And veterans make for amazing amazing series number 10 the jets forward depth how can you not be excited to see the jets forward depth you might be thinking that the habs just dispatched the deepest forward crew in the north division eh, wrong it's the jets it's always been the jets been saying it's the jets since day one on this channel which was only eight weeks ago but still the jets Four lines are so well balanced and they get scoring all across the roster. It isn't just two players you have to worry about. It isn't just one line. You got Shifley, you got Wheeler, you got Connor, you got the X Factor in Nikki Ehlers overtime hero, baby. You got Pierre Luc Dubois acquired from the Patrick Line A trade. You got Paul Stasny, who's always a threat to score, and the best third line in hockey, bar none, Lowry, Cop, and Appleton rounded out by a fantastic and responsible fourth line that is going to get ice. The Jets forward depth is incredible. And if someone goes down, you have Vesa line and wait in the wings along with a bunch of other great players to take their spots. Number nine, the Habs fourth line. Absolutely worth noting this fourth line is in its own category. Stahl, Perry, Armia, the former Winnipeg Jet, who, you know, frankly, couldn't be more than a fourth liner on the Jets either, but has been a star for the Montreal Canadiens when they need it. Two goals to help lift them past the Leafs in that series in one game. Corey Perry, league minimum BS crap. No way this guy should be league minimum. Previous league MVP, he's awesome. Eric Stahl, just as awesome. We have cup winners all over the place in Montreal. And on that fourth line, we got a few. So fan, fan. Fantastic fourth line, worth its own category. Number eight. The Habs top two defensemen, also worth its own category. Shea Weber and Jeff Petrie. If Jeff Petrie can return to his Norris Trophy candidate form like he was all season, this could spell trouble for the Jets. And Shea Weber is always a nightmare to play against. There's a reason he wears the C. He's calm. He's cool. He's collected. Gotta love that top pairing. Number seven. The Jets are nasty. Just nasty. And the Jets' nasty side is going to come out in this series. Expect 60 hits in game one. Maybe even close to 70. The Jets play in the central, Habs. And if you don't know much about the central or you've been boxed, into your media bubble over in the east before the north division it's the toughest division in hockey the jets are built to beat people up take hits snap back like a rubber band and continue beating you up this is going to be a physical series and if you play bot against the jets you may just lose because of it but you may not have a choice number six how about the habs young goal scorers big x factor in this series cole caulfield KK, yes, Barry, cocking an Emmy, cocking an Emmy, he, me, 
I can say his name now. I'm just messing around with you. But whatever. These guys are fantastic. Playoff heroes so far. And will that magic continue? Guess we'll have to see. Number five. That Jets power play. Woo! That Jets power play is nasty. It's brutal. It is tough to play against. If they didn't have their 12-game slide at the end of the season, this is a top three power play in the league. Now that the Oilers are out, this may be the best power play left in the NHL playoffs. And yes, I'm including the Colorado Avalanche. Yes, I'm including the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Jets power play is deadly. There is a lot of potential to score goals. And unlike most teams power plays, well, guess what? The goals don't just come from one side or the other. They come from all over the place. It is so well balanced. Can't wait to see it. Number four. How about Ducharme's systems and coaching style? The Habs are built around protecting carry price and keeping those shots to the outside. They are built around contain, protecting the house hockey and team first mentality. Ducharme has created some of the best line combinations I've seen in the last four or five games. And we can forgive him for his mistake for not show, not starting KK and Caulfield because he ended up getting them in the lineup. And this Habs system and line combinations look deadly. Ducharme comes in right here. Number three, Paul Maurice. How can it not be Paul Maurice? Slightly over Ducharme. Media, structure for the team, pontification, fantastic, fantastic media presence, talking, chatting, as well as veteran presence and real pros who are about to enter in the lineup. Paul Maurice, he made a fool out of all of us this year. We thought Maurice is done. We're going to fire him. By we, I mean I. Guess what? He was right the entire time. He was building a team for the playoffs. The little things that he felt was going right in that 12 game, just atrocious slide. Like, ugh, I know we won a game in there. It wasn't 12 losses, but like it was a 12 game period. Paul Maurice makes a fool out of everyone in Winnipeg and shows him just why he may be one of the best five coaches in the NHL. So Maurice comes in at three. Number two, Carey Price. Old, not obsolete. Old, but not obsolete. Not yet. Price may have had some surgeries. Price may be a little worn in the knees, but that veteran presence of Carey Price, whew, playoff Price, never count him out. Stole it from the Leafs the whole way. Could absolutely steal this series away from the Jets. What a fantastic, fantastic leader and goaltender in Montreal. Number one, Connor Charles Hellebuck, the best goalie in the NHL today, is going against the third best goalie in the NHL today, and they're this close. It's tight, it's neck and neck, but it's Connor Charles Hellebuck's net until it isn't. And right now, the previous Vesna Trophy winner is coming to Montreal for game three and four, and he is going to be a brick wall in game one and two. This is going to be a low-scoring affair, I expect, due to Price and due to Hellebuck, that we could see five, six, even seven games decided by a goal with under three goals total per game be really interesting to see how this series goes between these goaltenders. Well, that's it. Join me for coverage between the Habs and the Jets. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know who you think's going to win. Let me know who you think's going to take it down below. What's my prediction? Jets in five. This has been Coach Ryan D with Hot Garbage Sports. We'll see you Wednesday for game one.